I'd come up into this valley 30 odd years ago to look at a project. I think it's quite unique in that there's only a handful of houses. So it was really exciting to find that there was a large property that we could look at renovating and turning into our own. I think the best part of being here is really having two views as well, like often you can sit to the valley and look up to Springbrook as well as looking down to the ocean and then you've got your sort of view into your own parkland. The arrival of the house is framed by a, quite an extensive uh, row of screen planting, so these lily pillies are creating I guess a sense of privacy for the house and as you arrive you drive up past the, the swimming pool which is a horizon edge pool and then you come to a relatively large staircase that wraps up through the landscape up to the main entry area. We've got a layer of screen pergolas which are screening the bedroom wing which has got a wisteria that again in winter it drops its leaves, it lets more sun in, in summer it grows out and provides a really beautiful green shade. As you arrive you're coming through into the centre of the building with a wing which is the living area and the kitchen and the dining, big open plan space. Generally as a renovation you know, we started looking at and opening up the space to really create you know, a, a way that we want to live which is open plan living um, that then opens onto the outside space and taking advantage of views and then the other wing is more private which is really a series of bedrooms. I guess you know it really specifically would work well for a family with multiple children. Um, you don't have to be that family but you know really you've got quite a lot of bedrooms. It's a very long linear floor plan so everyone's spread out with areas so there's plenty of different spaces for people to inhabit. Um, there's also you know a guest bedroom down one end so it's a large house that would suit a reasonably decent sized family I think.